No. Hey, what's up? Today we are going to talk about potty training. Potty training does not have to be frustrating if you know what you're doing. The key is to be consistent and take your puppy outside for potty training on time. Puppy like to potty on the same spot, so we can, we can work around that. The routine will be after each meal, after it just woke up from sleep, after it had a play because exercise makes the dog want to potty. And after, if your puppy is very young, after a set of time. For most puppies, I will start with uh, every 30 minutes or 45 minutes. Try it and you will see if it needs that much time. Some puppies do need to go outside every 30 or 40 minutes because it has a small bladder. And some, some puppies, you may have to take them out only once, once an hour, some even longer. And you will extend the interval as the dog gets older. For my kind of coastal puppy here, when he arrived at 10 weeks, I take him out every half an hour to 45 minutes. After 12 weeks, he goes out to toilet every one hour to one and a half hour. So I, now I let him out every three to four hours. A bit of trial and error, you, you will know how long the interval should be. And make sure you stick to it. Whenever your dog starts to walk around and sniff around the house, it's a sign they want to use the toilet. So make sure you take them out if you see that especially when they start to circle around. So after you have established a routine, how do you potty train your dog when you take the dog out? First pick a word for training. Uh, it could be potty, it could be go toilet. For me, I sing a pee pee song. It's a bit uh, out there, but that's what I do. I go pee 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 pee. So the word uh, prompt the dogs to go potty. When you, when you take them out, make sure you use the word go potty or pee 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 poo poo poo. When they do it, uh, just keep saying the word so they register the word meaning the action they were doing. Once they're finished, give them a lot of praise so they know what they are doing is makes you happy and which makes them happy. Good girl. Good girl. Emily, you see this? We, we need some food for this, oh, yeah. right, right after. Yeah, boop, 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 boop. Good girl! Beep, 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 beep. That's it! Good girl! Good girl! Good luck! Good, give her lots, give her lots, a lot more than one. Uh, no, 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 separately. Not just, oh, yeah, separately. So, so it's not just one big treat, it's hundreds of treats. They like it they're better. So, whoa, 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 whoa. She's strong, eh? Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Why is the vocabulary important? Let's say you are about to go out for to an important event, and before you go out, you have to take the dog out to potty, and you don't have much time. The word can become very useful to you because when you take the dog out, the dog might want to sniff around, they want to play, and when you use the word go toilet or poo poo or something like that, it prompts them to do it. This can save you time in the future. And every time you take them out, they know exactly why they are out there. It is important to note, if you take your dog out for potty, uh, don't stay out for too long. If your dog isn't doing the business, is sniffing around, playing around, take the dog back in and go back out again in a few minutes. Because you want to be very focused on what you're doing. When your dog's out to, to do its potty training, you should know we're out there to do potty. Uh, not, it's not a playing. It's not a playing time. If your dog starts playing, just take your dog back inside. Most people I know who struggle with potty training uh, usually uh, had trouble sticking to a particular routine, or they don't take the dog out often enough. So the dog end up doing toilet in, inside the house which leaves a lot of scent here and there and they tend to go back to the same spot and do it and it becomes a habit for the dog the dog recognizes certain spot as their toilet in the house um, and it becomes a habit which is very hard to correct as mentioned earlier dogs like to potty on the same spot so if you found your dog uh, poop and pee here and there in the house the first thing you need to do is make sure you do a very very good clean up clean up thoroughly with uh, tissue paper, some, just absorb as much as you can. The next thing you need to do is make sure you use a, a, a pet stand and odor remover. There are different products you can use. This is the one I get uh, from a pet store. You can also buy similar product in the supermarket. I don't think they are that different, so they should be all 
they should all do the same job. It move, remove, it break down the order. Um, if your dog leave its scent in the house, be it poo or pee, uh, try to clean it with water and soap doesn't help. You can't smell it, but your dogs can, and they will tend to go back to the same, same spot and do it again. And my puppy is fully toilet trained. As you can see, I've only used up this much. Um, I don't think I'm gonna need it again. If you can prevent accident happening in the house, you actually don't use much of it. If accident does happen, which for most people they would have experienced accident in the house um, once or twice or more. So what do we do about correction? One of my friend's friend who is a dog trainer told my friend, if your dog pee or poo in the house, what you do is you grab some newspaper or a magazine, you roll it up like this, and then you whack yourself in the head. It's a joke, but the meaning behind it is, very, is, is quite true. If you found poo or pee inside the house, it means you haven't taken the dog out on time, or you didn't take it out often enough. So if you, if you found a poo or pee in the house, um, do not punish your puppy, it's too late. What you do is you try to clean up as much as possible, um, use, the, use the odor remover and clean up the mess. Make sure you remove all the order. It doesn't make sense to a puppy if you uh, if you punish the dog for poop and pee inside the house uh, for something they did in the past. And what you're really referring to is actually the location. It's in the wrong location. They, they wouldn't understand that. Because to them, the other times when they pee or poo in front of you, you were happy about it. The correction that can actually work is if you can keep, keep an eye on the dog often enough, if you can catch the dog during act, so if you see they, are, they squat down and they are doing it, that's when you go to the dog, pick it up and take it outside. So when I take, if I see my dog squat down, it's about to pee or poo, you, you grab them, lift them up and take them outside, they'll be like, whoa, take them outside and go pee, 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 poo, use the same word and you do it outside. That, that, that does actually help them to understand you prefer them to do this outside, not inside. But you know, it doesn't take long for them to finish their business. So you need to keep an eye on your dog often enough to catch them. Once you take them outside, you say the uh, word for potty, and if they do it, praise them, give them a lot of praise, they will be happier than you about the success. That's why I think rules and boundaries are very important. That's when a uh, crate come in handy. You keep the dog in their, their den, and dogs don't usually like to do their business in their own den. Um, when you're sleeping, it's good to keep them in there, so you, it really can help you training the puppy. It can be a crate, it can be a pen, it can be a particular space where you keep your dog during the, during the time when you're not home or when you're unable to watch them. If you are tra potty training your puppy, the, the, the more you can keep an eye on them, the better. Keep them in the same room. If you're going to a shower, take them to the shower, let them learn to wait for 15 minutes, that can help too. So how long does it take to uh, completely train a puppy? It, it, the answer is every puppy is different. When I was younger, I had a puppy. She was only eight weeks old when she came to our house. She never ever potty in the house, not even once. She, she just knew, no training was required. Amber, she, I think she came when she was about six to seven weeks old. Um, I think she was fully trained when she was around about uh, six, 15 weeks, 16 weeks. So it takes us one to two months to train her. Um, Venchi, the Kane Corso, Venchi arrived when he was 10 weeks old. Um, it took us about three, about three weeks, three to four weeks to train. He hasn't had an accident in the house since. So uh, every, 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 one, every dog is different. The more committed you are to potty training, uh, with routine and all above mentioned, the faster your dog will learn. It's up to the trainer to make it happen. I hope this helps. Um, post your comments and questions below if you like and look forward to seeing your... Please click like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you next time. Oh,